Boruto chapter 40, baby. Yo, what the fuck was Boro on? I ain't gonna lie. Boro, what you doing, fam? Disappearing like that. You're running from a few kids, dog. Like, you should feel embarrassed and disgraced. I'm just saying, yo. Boruto chapter 40, though. The action, the intensity, the battles, the plays, the strategy. See Mitsuki going in. All the talks more of these plans that Kara got. Like, yo... World Toe Manga, even on a chapter like this where it doesn't have the key players from the past that we love to see Naruto and Sasuke going at it with, you know, one of the enemies, it still was fire. And honestly, this chapter was giving something that we haven't had in a while. And that's some of the new, well, now it's new, new, I guess you could say, Team 7 working together in action. Let's talk about it. No matter how you get it done, no matter that's right, people, finally. I, I, the, the month wait be killing you, boy. I, I be like, oh my gosh, stressed out. Like, yo, how many more days until Boruto's next chapter? I be bugged out waiting for this shit. I ain't gonna lie, because I love it. I love it. I love it in this chapter. It was awesome, again, to just see it taking it back to the roots a little bit. Seeing, you know, the three-man cell. I guess four-man now, technically. But, you know, seeing three-man cell team working together in a really, really drastic battle. But before that chapter opens up we got shikamaru there stressed out as hell like yo what's going on fam uh boruto better get back here safe apparently sasuke is no longer in critical condition but he's unconscious which is a uh, i ain't gonna lie a nice little escaping plot point to allow the new generation to go at it because if sasuke wasn't unconscious and he could just immediately teleport over there he probably would so yeah knock him unconscious so boruto saw a lot of them could actually have a moment for a change which don't get me wrong I, I, I prefer, I'll be honest with you, even though it's the Boruto, Naruto, Next Generation manga, whatever, I still always prefer when the older generation is involved, but again, you gotta figure out some loophole to get them over there, and I mean, they did just take a really mean ass whipping from the hands of Ishiki Otsutsuki, you know what I'm saying, or Jigen, whatever the heck you wanna call them, so you gotta, you gotta put that into account when it comes to why the hell is Sasuke out cold right now, fam, like, we need you, dog, what you doing? Then we cut back to the battlefield, Boruto there cocky as ever like yo fam uh you ain't getting this dude but honestly I i'll be real so far out of the car members uh that we've seen in action delta was like a hothead reminded me of like an android 18 because let's and I've said this many times, but let's not kid ourselves. This is essentially the android saga of, you know, Boruto or the Naruto universe, whatever you want to call it. Because now it's more and more just starting to look almost, not identical, but in terms of like, these are definitely artificial beings. Which, side note, also has a great escape point for what was going on with these people. Assuming that they were all recruited and, and around back when the moon eye plan went down because you think about it if they're not actually human if there's like replaceable deltas and possibly replaceable boros or they're like a combo of artificial and real being but at the same time more artificial then the moon eye plan might have not even worked on them so it would make sense why they were not affected by the big battle that happened you know at the end of the naruto manga when kaguya showed up and madara and the moon eye plan and everything which that's pretty awesome because i was always like well any villain that comes up at this particular point that is still from that era what the hell were they doing when you know the the whole moon eye plan went down they must have been in a dreamlike state them damn selves right like how did they, you know what i'm saying so very very cool that at the very least assuming that again these are really just like some androids or a hybrid of some sort they probably weren't put under the moon eye plan but who knows but boro he throws the jar uh, with naruto in it at them a as a diversion which again seems as though he's a slimy dude he's a slimy dude he uses a lot of trickery for starters and, and again I, I look at boro like okay you may be strong dog but you look like an old man and you tricking these little ass kids you're a boomer right now okay boro's a boomer i'm just calling it <laughs> but dude is you know he starts off with a diversion throwing the jar and immediately disappearing which he's using which I, I i think it's dope he's using ninjutsu he's doing you know little hand s signs again in order to do his jutsu or whatnot because after he threw the jar and you see like a, a, everything is like all foggy he 
appears behind Kawaki real quick and says, hey, don't force open the thing. I don't, I can't guarantee the safety. So pretty much, and from what he said as well, Jigen's the only one that can unseal this jar properly. It looks like without either Jigen or somebody like a specialist taking the jar to Konoha or something like that, who knows? Maybe they could even eventually get out of there with the jar, take it to Konoha, and still they can't get Naruto free because they won't know how to do it, how to undo the seal. So it's going to be interesting to see that even if they get out of here, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be able to free Naruto. Naruto still might be stuck in that jar, even if it's taken a Konoha. It's like, yeah, the Hokage, he, he's in this cup right now. <laughs> and then after spraying his acid, he starts getting hit. Boro starts taking hit, which, again, if they're cybernetic beings, you know, if they're like basically robots, so to speak, uh, it would make kind of sense why they would be able to regenerate because he takes a, a Rasengan, he gets, you know, really pummeled and he's able to just constantly regenerate and heal himself. So uh, I guess as a robot, even though it's like, man, it, this is going the DBZ route in terms of like, I remember, uh, I want to say it was like Cell was the first one that could really regenerate and it was like, whoa, this is a big deal. And then Majin Buu had it. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> it ain't that big of a deal now folks but he's able to regenerate and uh he's just again using a lot of trickery it seems as though this dude he's strong in certain aspects like you know he says lava style a uh, planet buster or whatever the heck but at the end of the day he's mainly just using like this invisible because you know the title of the chapter is what invisible something like that invisible jutsu um so he's he's going invisible and just using trickery using this mist that they could absorb the acid that he threw but they can't absorb the mist because it's some sort of jutsu that he has going on which so far Boro I, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel as though because of the nature of the fight, like Boro is, you know, one of the members of Kara, the Akatsuki of the Boruto manga, so to speak. And, you know, Kawaki, you could argue Kawaki and Boruto together using karma, which we've seen Boruto use karma as well in this chapter. It's like, okay, they're, they're somewhat formidable. And again, this is an unknown power, but Boro's using a lot of trickery against kids. And then I got to keep on stressing that, like no matter how he defeats them or w what's going on, because this whole chapter was basically them trying to figure it out and they couldn't. And then eventually they had to fall back and Sarada had them hiding or whatever, but they're kids at the end of the day. Are you using trickery? I just got to keep stressing that. And then something which I've been saying for ill minute now that was kind of revealed or you know brought forth by Boro is he references Boruto as the vessel for Momoshiki which I've been saying it for a ill minute that hold up it seems as though because we even had the, what was it, a few chapters ago maybe five or six chapters ago now where Boruto was pinned up and you saw like Momoshiki looking like he's about to devour him might have been more than six chapters I don't know it was a while ago that we got that chapter that's again hinting that more than likely this is Yo, who knows this whole thing with Kara because if Ishiki Osutsuki has been revealed to be um, you know or Jigen was revealed to be Ishiki Osutsuki an Osutsuki clan member this could possibly be all a plan from the Osutsuki to begin with or just one Osutsuki and because you gotta also take into account he refers to him as that but then at the same time he's like oh you know we we had this deadline basically we was rushing but now thanks to you we we good we don't gotta push forth that hard you know we don't got this deadline anymore which okay well what deadline did you guys have? Why was you rushing to begin with? What What's up? Well, we've seen from what Ishiki Osutsuki had said in, you know, a few chapters ago, Jigen, whatever, that, oh man, this body's almost done. I, I need to use the vessel real quick. So if he needed to jump vessels, maybe there's a possibility that all of them have some time limit or is some time limit to do with the fact that maybe their bodies can't hold out that much and they need these Osutsuki powers because just because you know, Ishiki is an Otsutsuki, doesn't mean that he's rocking with Momoshiki and gonna be like, ah, oh, brethren, return, return, brethren. Like, I don't think that's gonna happen, folks. And I ain't gonna lie, I was hyped when I saw Mitsuki jump in because, you know, you got this dark mist everywhere, which it was a little hard to, like, I, I read the chapter a couple different times, like, uh, I don't really see the mist all that much, but you got Mitsuki jumping in there, trying every which way, and again, it's showing that Boro, even when he does go head to head, like, you know, because I've been stressing throughout this, like, yo, you're fighting children, and, you know, you're supposed to be a car member, or whatever, but I will say that even when Mitsuki tried to use all that he could, he tried to trick him using the lightning, and then eventually had the snake, he was able to, oh, where you think you got me wrapped up, fam, and drag him down and kick his ass, too, so it's not that Boro's weak by any means, it's just like, I guess that's his, his fighting style, his fighting style is slimy and grimy, which, for a villain, yeah, that, that, that works, I guess, right, because no matter if it's a kid or an adult, he's gonna probably use the same type of fighting style, but Mitsuki, I, I, I was hyped for a minute, like, 
Yo, is he gonna go Sage mode? This is the perfect time because I said this in my spoiler video uh, when we got a little bit of spoiler for this chapter that Meat Ski basically would be their best bet if this guy is an invisible jutsu user because he has the Sage mode. Sage mode could sense whatever. That was one of the best things about Sage mode. So, Meat Ski, even though he kind of got a little whacked in this one, they all still are. You know, they're not completely defeated yet. So I think in the next one, if they're going to continue this battle, Mitsuki, his best bet would be to go Sage mode. And I mean, at the end of the day, they could keep the secret. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the things he just would have to trust out on them. Or it could be that he actually does have to leave the village. Or who knows? Mitsuki could die in this one. Like, uh, we didn't see me. I mean, granted, we didn't see Sarada or anybody else. But we didn't see Mitsuki in that final battle with Boruto and Kawaki. I'm just saying. And again, like I said, and, and I think that that was one of the focuses of this chapter and one of the purposes of this chapter to just give Team 7 the new Team 7 or well minus Kawaki because obviously now he's a part of it but the color page alone was expressing what this was going to really do because then Sarala had a moment as well Mitsuki had a moment going in didn't really pan out well then Sarala just picks up this giant boulder and throws it in um this is a chapter if you're a fan of Sarala you're definitely gonna go woo but also uh, it just proves even further like Sarada is way better than her mother ever was okay because not only is she able to assess the situation not only is she able to just throw this freaking hulking boulder and take everyone out of there not only is she able to regroup she's also able to raise everyone's morale like this is all pushing forth that eventually she will be the Hokage whether it's like not necessarily after Naruto maybe somebody else Shikamaru or Konohamaru might come after Naruto but then after that Sarada will be the Hokage. She's showing all signs of leadership skills. She's like, yo, I'm not running. Um, you know, it's not that my main priority at the end of the day is I want to get the Hokage, of course. But in order to do that, we need to team up and work together. We need to use teamwork. This is the new Team 7, baby. And they're about to strike back. And it just shows Sarada beast better than her mom. Like, I will always from here on out say, until we see otherwise, Sarada over Sakura anytime. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, if this was Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Sakura would have been like, No, please, Sasuke! <laughs> Sarada ain't on that, baby. I love it. I love it. That's the Uchiha jeans and her. That ain't the Haruno stuff. I'm just saying. And overall, this chapter... Was it as crazy as the last couple ones? Nah. But it was still a pretty dope chapter. It was cool to get back to the basics of, you know, Team 7 working together on a mission. It's cool to see that they're kind of including Kawaki as a part of Team 7 now. I don't know if he's going to get taken at this particular point after all this happens or what's going to happen in terms of, um, you know, moving forward with Kawaki. Because we know, again, we always got to keep on going back to, at the end of the day, we know how this story is going to somewhat end. We don't know if there'll be arcs after that, obviously. But uh, Kawaki will fight Boruto at some given point. Will it be that he gets kidnapped now, changes his mind? What's going to happen? Only time will tell. But pretty awesome action. Very interesting to see a couple notes uh what do you think about Boruto uh, being referenced as Momoshiki's vessel? What was this urgent deadline that they were trying to beat that now they don't need to worry about because they got Boruto as a, another vessel there for Momoshiki? Is Ishiki Osutsu going to be cool with Momoshiki, try to get him out of there? Or is it that they want the chakra from within him because he has the karma inside of him? And your overall thoughts and expectations for Boruto chapter 41 and beyond. Again, it's going to be another long, stressful wait for chapter 41 next month but i'm all for it baby because this chapter the action was awesome seeing mitsuki throwing down sarada throwing down boruto throwing down kawaki trying to get in the midst like all of it was dope i loved it and uh, i'm just hoping to see that boro really shows out because so far you know he's been kicking some tail mind you at the end of the day it is four of them they're not weaklings by any means sarada got shot in gun which it was cool to see her activated in this one as well so it's not like these are just a bunch of weaklings he's fighting but I'm looking forward to seeing what else Boro got. And also, uh, last thing, Boro having the, the air vent on the side of his face confirms, again, these are all like cybernetic beings, baby. This is why they were not probably affected by the Moon Eye plan. This is why probably this whole karma situation is going on right now. Maybe they need this karma energy from the Osutsuki in order to continue or maybe it has something to do with the body swap that Ishiki Osutsuki is trying to accomplish. Who knows? Either way, this is crazy. I'm loving the Boruto manga right now. Even with a chapter like this, it's like, yeah, Sarada better than Sakura. Change my mind, fam. Show me something. Like, cause I'm just saying, like, 
That little Chiha girl, she she's off to bigger and better things, mate. But that's all I have for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links, of course, will be in the description below. I'm from Neverworld, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life, boy! Have an awesome day. Peace in and Boruto, baby, let's go! Enjoy the next ride, but I was the best ride. Yeah.